ओके सो फाइन वी 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 आर डिस्कसिंग क्रिस्प डीएम मॉडलिंग और इट्स इट्स एक्चुअली अ फ्रेमवर्क व्हिच व्हिच वाज डिफाइंड इन बैक इन 1996 राइट सो व्हाट व्हाट हैपेंड दैट टाइम वाज देयर वाज a surge in data uh, data science problems uh, and issues and uh, basically uh, people wanted uh, a standard framework which we can follow to you know to to understand to or to to solve a data problem or to solve a data decision related problem right so it covered uh, data mining it covered it, uh, modeling or uh, machine learning it is still very relevant uh, when it comes to even machine learning projects right and executing them so it it basically gives you very high level understanding of the steps you need to follow to to uh, to make a successful uh, data project or to make to create or to uh, create a successful machine learning project right so uh it was created back in 1996 so these were approaches which were used by uh, uh the data mining experts of that time and they laid out a very standard process uh to follow for the for the people who were to come in the future and want to you know uh, solve those uh, data related problems so it gives it gives us a basic six step kind of uh, a kind of a framework which you can follow uh, these are very high level steps which uh, people still follow and are still relevant in in the industry now these are cross platform you can go to any kind of industry and uh, whether it is it or manufacturing or any kind of of that sort to to you know follow they can follow this framework and create efficient machine learning or data mining projects right so these these steps can be uh, you know followed by anyone who wants to uh, to manage a project this from a manager's perspective as well and from uh, different people who are involved as i said a manager or somebody who is driving this uh, this project can be an architect or somebody who is a data engineer so uh, covering all the profs and all the people who are involved uh in the in in a data project uh, this gives you uh, basically on a high level what are the uh, different steps you can follow and um, based on the people and the profiles they have what is each of them's uh, responsibility when when it comes to executing those steps okay so first step is to have a business understanding now uh, this this step is to have certain goals like uh, when it, uh, every machine learning project should have or must have uh, generally a a business goal which it wants to achieve right so it uh, if if there is uh, there is a goal for a company which wants to reduce uh, reduce its uh, reduce its costs or make its process more optimum uh it can be any kind of a process uh, running inside the company uh, that is a goal for that company right so when it when it tries to search for the data it will search for that kind of relevant data right so in this kind of step in business understanding uh, there is uh, th- there is an understanding or a you can say a mission or a motive which starts from the top of the company and it goes down the line and everybody should be uh, should be should be accustomed to and should be uh, should be knowing or should be aware of the major goal the company has when it comes to this project or to a, a particular uh, data science project or a machine learning project right so this is where in this step you have all the meetings all the documentation which which basically uh, you know tries to uh, identify those goals and tries to you know convert uh, that business problem to a data mining problem and documents it 
so that everybody in down the line who is going to get that document or who is in the meeting trying to understand that goal uh, of why this project is important and what is that the company is trying to achieve through this project gets that understanding of the business right so everybody starting from the ceo to the uh, to the person who is going to deploy the the machine learning project uh, should understand the overall goal of the project and why this uh, project is getting uh, uh, is getting carried out at the first place right so so this understanding is created uh, in the business understanding step right and after that business understanding is created uh, a data understanding is created right so uh, now what, what as i talked about the relevance of the data so now this is where uh, people try to understand what are the results they want from the goal uh, from the business goal and how they can be achieved now this is where people try to map out realistic approaches and try to check what is the data which is uh, there in the company or there in the databases of the company or what is the data which is uh, currently present at, at in their hands right so they try to check for the data to know realistically if those goals can be achieved using the data which we have currently right and try to create that understanding uh, or realistic approach on how uh, uh, when you have that physical goal how that physical goal can be converted into a finally a machine learning model right so this is where that kind of understanding uh, is getting created and you also check for if you want more data where do you want to where can you get it right and uh, that is the different sources of it and are uh, is that data enough to achieve the results you want and or you or the goals you want to achieve for your for your uh, using your project right so uh, this is a step where basically a realistic approach is laid down you can say a project map is created or what data you have the current status check is done uh, and what is the uh, data or what is the approach what is the right kind of approach needed for further uh, carrying out this project is uh, it's, it it happens in this data understanding step right so once you understand uh, what is the data needed and what are the gaps which needs to be uh, filled uh, we come to this step which is data preparation step now here uh, after you have all the data ready uh, you need to prepare the data uh, which is ready for modeling purposes right so uh, as you might have seen we do certain steps in our uh, machine learning code as well you can see that we do uh, certain changes that is to convert numerical data into categorical data we we do dummification right because our models can only handle numerical data not categorical data uh, and we do uh, certain changes in the type of data right so those are those uh, those steps are basically making uh, the data or yeah the data prepared for modeling purposes right so at the company level uh, this was at the model level or when we are writing a simple machine learning code we we do these steps but at the company level at uh, at the project level when when uh, data preparation happens it's it, it it those are like very high level rules which are set down right so there are data governance rules which are set down okay uh, there there is etl rules which are kind of set down right so data what are data governance rules data governance is uh, standardizing data and its storage right how it has to be processed across the company uh, there are certain rules which are set down uh, regarding storage of data in which formats you have to store it where you have to store it who can share it what are the privacy uh, kind of concerns with it and what are the other rules uh, you have to follow so that everybody can understand and whoever wants access to it can get access right uh, these steps basically 
make the data more accessible and more prepared for the next steps right so uh, when it, this also contains etl so uh, for those of you who don't know etl is extraction transformation load you can search this uh, keyword in on the internet uh, okay so etl also is helps you prepare your data and uh, extract data from different sources uh, make necessary transformations or changes in it like formatting changes or um, what, what what should be the name of certain columns it should be uh, understandable by at the business level when this report finally goes to the uh, to the ceo uh, to making certain decisions after all the findings have been made at the uh, using the machine learning model or the project uh, this should be uh, uh, well understood uh, by by the uh, top management right so etl does does those necessary transformations into the data and loads all of the data into a data warehouse of some kind where accessibility becomes easier where it is in a standardized format where uh, the the projects or the models coming uh, coming in the uh, in the next steps can use it uh, properly right uh, for, for for so for for models uh, you need sometimes data which is in the same what you call units uh, properly normalized uh, so that uh, it can perform modeling steps so all this kind of transformational changes happen in uh, data preparation uh, step of the project right so next step is the modeling step so now uh, the previous step which was data preparation is where uh, a data engineer comes into picture okay so a team of data engineers basically sit through the uh, the etl process or the warehouse uh, cleaning or any kind of transformations or formatting they want to do in the data so that it is in a proper uh, what you call consumable format for modeling uh, is done by data engineers so data engineers is a profile which uh, or the group of people who do th this work uh, did, uh, understanding data understanding and business understanding business analysts to do, do this kind of uh, mapping or understanding the business requirements the goals and kind of uh, trying to convert them into a data problem or to convert them into a machine learning problem. That is a very important step because uh, choosing the right uh, solution for a right prop for a for a problem is it, it sets the foundation for for the next steps, right? So data engineers do data preparation. And then uh, this this very glamorous part of the uh, you know project where modeling happens, you don't have to do much here just to uh, you can compare this to uh, hyperparameter tuning or fitting the data training the data uh, something kind like uh, so right so you can already see that these are very simple steps uh, as uh, as far as the modeling is concerned is very simple steps uh, when you have the correct data and the and, and data which is well prepared or well stored in standard format, you don't have to do much in the modeling steps apart from just simple tunings you have to do to, to optimize your model, to make it more accurate, right? And uh, to, to show the correct results. So this is also where you actually uh, select a correct, correct model for your problem and do certain only uh, what you call smaller changes to your uh, to the tuning of the model to have the correct results right so uh, after you have chosen your model you have done certain choose uh, what you call tuning to the model and uh, your model is now ready it is tested right so for evaluation now you can you you can compare this evaluation to what we do with the confusion matrix with classification report with with checking the model scores right it is similar evaluation is uh, similar in that sense so uh, whatever techniques or modeling you have to... okay so whatever techniques or models you have chosen before and perform the simple tuning 
uh, and uh, you know made the model ready for execution uh, you 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 execute that model and you test that model uh, on the unseen test data and see its accuracy right so if there are if, if uh, while in the modeling stage you have suppose you 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 are confused between choosing a random forest or a decision tree right for your project or if you want to use nlp uh, that is national language uh, national uh, natural language processing or you, you want to use simple text classifiers uh, so if you are if you have two three models in picture in the modeling phase in the evaluation phase you can test those models and see their accuracy and select the best one okay so there are different uh, in the corporate sense you can say different test cases created in the evaluation phase and they and the test cases are tested for success or failure so if if there are any failures uh, these steps can go back so uh, if there, there is the there is none of the models which are uh, which you find are best suited for your uh, business problem you can go back to your you can go back a step you can go back to your modeling phase or reselect some of the or rethink some of the techniques you want to choose for your uh, business problem right and so are the, all these steps you can go back to your drawing board uh, whenever you you see that there are certain changes in the data and you want to uh, go back and have a look at it again so evaluation is where, again where, where the best model is chosen based on the results so now uh, as i said is it, it's akin to you know checking model scores uh, seeing uh, test cases or results and if all the test cases pass so if all the test cases pass you can uh, you can select the best one uh, out of all the models which are which are giving you the desired result but which is giving you the best result you can select it here right and after you have selected the best uh, model and it's giving you the desired result you have verified it in the evaluation phase um, you are good to go for deployment right so in in the deployment phase what happens is whatever you have tested and is if it is working uh, as you wished and uh, you your business goal which you established at the first step is getting uh, satisfied you can go for the deployment so now uh, deployment is the final final phase where you present the solution in a better way so whatever machine learning uh, model you have uh, implemented whatever results you have gotten you can uh, you can choose to either you know show it in a dashboard or show it in a, a website or create an app right so you can choose different deployment steps or the ways you can present the solution or the findings right and uh, if if so here also you there is something which is like production deployment so uh, now whatever you were testing here was uh, uh, was in the, was in the test environment so you want to go you say you want to go live with your data right or with your solution now go live is the part of deployment where you create uh, an app or a website or a product to you know present your findings or your reports in an effective manner so that was the last step for uh, the deployment phase right so you so these are the you know steps which uh, uh, which chris dm uh, follows and this is a framework which is still very pop very popular and uh, it's it's you know uh, a very uh, uh, what do you call uh, till people follow it to you know carry out their machine learning projects okay. so if you uh, have any doubts here you can ask me because uh, we have completed the uh, this dm uh, session